The other day, one of my best girlfriends called up and said, Daria, I'm having these really weird palpitations. Sometimes it feels like a single extra beat or a single boom, or sometimes it feels like a hiccup or a flutter or a pause. And what is going on? I wanted to share with you the answer that I shared with her because not only does she have it, I see women in the ER with the same complaint all the time. And I figured if they have it, you or someone you love may be having the exact same symptoms. So here's my answer that I gave to her and to her audience. So I wanted to share, I wanted to give you a little reassurance and what to do when you have these symptoms, if you have them. So one of the most common causes of what Jenna was experiencing and what many of you may be experiencing is called a PVC or premature ventricular contraction. All that means is instead of the normal timekeeper heart rate and contraction coming like you should normally have, there is an extra and early beat and squeeze that comes up from another part of your heart. So it feels really funny. Sometimes people can describe it as a hiccup or kind of a fluttering feeling. Others will describe it as a boom or like a hard palpitation beat. And they may also describe that they felt kind of like a mini pause right after it. They also may say that they felt it more when they were actually at rest or laying on their left side. So the thing about PPCs is that they tend to come on when for some reason we have some more irritation and inflammation in our body and that irritates the heart tissue. So that can happen when we're sick. Anything like a cold or a flu even can cause that. Or when you're tired, if you haven't been sleeping, or if you're under a lot of stress. So kind of every day, which is probably why so many women are experiencing these. It can also happen if you've had too much stimulants, too much caffeine, alcohol, um, tobacco, or also stimulants like cough and cold medications or other stimulant medications. There are other medical causes like your electrolytes being off, thyroid problems, or high blood pressure. All of these can make the heart muscle tissue just a little more irritated and then again, you can get that extra beat from the heart to cause that PVC. The good thing about PVCs is that they tend to be really self-limited and benign. And as soon as whatever is triggering them, whether it's because you're sick or sleepy or, or any of those things, whenever that gets better or gets out of your system, the PVCs will go away. So again, they tend to be benign. They tend to be self-limited as soon as that triggering thing gets out of your system. Here's what I tell everybody when they complain of having these PVCs. Is that when I say, check your heart rate. If you just had a sporadic single PVC, when you check your heart rate, it's back to normal and it won't be faster. But if you have a string of PVCs in a row or if you're having PVCs every couple of beats, you'll notice your heart rate is faster. If you have a heart rate monitor, you can actually see what that rhythm is, get it at that moment and save it so you can show it to your doctor because that is really, really, really helpful to see what your actual EKG rhythm is when you're having the symptoms. Of course, if you're having these very frequently or your heart rate is up, then, or of course, you're just worried, go check out, talk to your doctor. They may have you get an EKG. They may actually have you wear a heart rate monitor for a few days or up to a few weeks, a couple of weeks to see if they can capture what that heart rhythm is. In the meantime, you want to let your body heal from whatever that trigger is inciting that's causing the PVCs, whether that's getting better and getting some rest, getting that sleep you need, hydrating minimizing on any stimulants and sometimes I advise my patients to take magnesium because that can lower the irritability of the heart tissue and make it less likely to have PVCs. Again, reassurance, PVCs tend to be benign, they tend to be self-limited and they get better whenever whatever was triggering them gets better. But if you're having a bunch of them in a row, a bunch every minute, or you are just worried or have other symptoms, chest pain, shortness of breath, lightheadedness with it, or again, if they're just stressing you out, go see your doctor. That's why we're there. Let me know what other questions you have, because if you're having them, somebody else probably is as well.